Hello and thank you for joining me. In this video I'm gonna be showing you how I styled my hair into this updo with bumper bangs. The back is kind of similar to another tutorial you can see on my channel which is a ratchet inspired uh, updo tutorial so if this seems familiar that's why. So I'm starting with the front I'm just parting my hair in the middle and then parting it from ear to ear so I can part my hair into a front section and a back section. The back section goes into a ponytail so it's not in the way because we're starting with the front. I'm now parting the front section into three sections, kind of using the arches of my eyebrow as reference to where to part the hair. We're starting with the center section which is gonna be the bumper bangs themselves, so I'm putting away the side sections. It might seem like I'm over organizing but it just makes everything more simple and saves up some messes that can happen later where different hair groups mix together. Next I'm backcombing all of the hair that is gonna be the bumper bangs. So I'm just grabbing line by line of hair and backcombing it. I'm adding some hairspray and next I'm kind of fluffing all of it out and spreading the back comb a bit. Next using a teasing brush I'm smoothing off the outer layer of this uh, section by just uh, brushing out uh, around all of the back combing, not through the back combing itself and I'm grabbing a hair a sponge or just a donut that I cut open into a straight line. That means it used to be just a round regular hair donut and I just cut it and now it's a straight line. I'm gonna be using two more of this. This is of course very common and you can find it in any pharmacy or dollar store but I did get some questions about it uh, when I uploaded this tutorial to Instagram so I'm just making sure I mention that. After rolling the hair around that sponge, I'm just taking a, a comb and a brush and trying to smooth everything, but as you can see, I'm not that happy with it and I'm doing it again, so you get another chance to see how I did it. I'm rolling it around the center of the sponge and then kind of rounding it and using bobby pins to lock it in place into my uh, scalp pretty much. It's okay if it's not perfect, you can still make some changes, but if you're really not happy with it, just roll it again, as you saw me doing. Sometimes it can take a few times. Now that the sponge is locked in place, I'm kind of spreading the hair to hide all of the sponge, which is not in my hair color, of course, and also in order to make the bumper banks a bit bigger and more dramatic and more spread to the sides. Also, because I'm gonna be connecting it to the victory rolls at the sides of the head. So I'm using hairspray and the comb itself and the tail of the comb to smooth everything and make sure everything looks to my liking and also in the right shape. That's why I'm using the tail of the comb to kind of pull some areas out where I want uh, to smooth the line of the whole shape. I'm now moving on to the victory rolls at the side of the face. So I'm back combing again. You might have noticed I didn't curl my hair before. That's because the ends are not gonna be showing uh, anywhere. So I just figured my very bleached and very breakable hair would appreciate it if I won't curl it when I don't have to. But it did make it harder. So this is something you should take into account if you're doing it this way. It's not the most proper way to do this hair. If you could curl it before, that would save you a lot of struggle and the hair will be much more compliant. So similar to before with the back combing, I'm brushing out the outer layer, adding some hairspray. And first I'm just figuring out the outer shape of the victory roll. And next I'm curling the ends and tucking them in. Once I'm happy with the overall shape, I'm using a bobby pin inside the roll to hold it together and free up my hands so I can connect the bumper bangs with the victory roll and just work on perfecting the shape. You can see me here kind of tightening the victory roll and then using U-shaped pins to hold it in place. 
So I'm just smoothing everything, adding hairspray and connecting the two styling elements using the tail of the comb. Now to the other side, the challenge here will be to try to make it as symmetrical as possible, which is not simple at all if you ever try to do this kind of hairstyle. But just be patient, start by freeing up your hand using the bobby pin just to hold it together and then use the brushes and the comb and the hairspray uh, to perfect it and to make sure it's symmetrical. That's why you kind of see me here pulling away and looking at it from a bit more distant just to make sure everything is kind of even. You can see here the top of my head doesn't look that amazing but that's actually the fun part. I'm gonna use some flowers on that area which is very vintage accurate as you can see in this reference. So it's nice that there is one area I don't have to worry about and I don't have to actually make it look nice. I'm now doing some final touches, making sure everything is perfect and adding hairspray. I add hairspray in layers, I don't do it all at once. As you saw in this video and probably in other tutorials I did in the past, I always work in layers when it comes to hairspray. Yeah, so I was really feeling this look this way with the straight hair in the back. So I stopped the video to take some selfies and now I'm back. I'm now adding the flowers. These are flowers I bought uh, as a bouquet of uh, false flowers, of course, and cut it so I can use it on my hair. And in this case as well, I also dyed it. So I'm sorry, I make everything complicated and I can't give you a link for them, but I do like personalizing stuff. I'm starting with the back. I'm just very brutally backcombing the whole hair that is left doing so in small groups so the comb can actually go through the group of hair and back comb it. So now that everything is back combed, I'm brushing the crown of the head to make sure it's smooth and adding some hairspray also to just brush out and smooth all the flyaways. Next I'm gonna use another hair donut or hair bun that I cut open. I'm rolling my hair around it and then I'm using bobby pins to secure it in place. Using hairspray and my comb, I smooth everything, make sure it looks good and I'm gonna kind of stretch the upper edges of this roll just to make sure you can see the hair bun itself and to make the roll look kind of closed. I'm now using another hair bun on the other side. The reason I didn't connect them uh, in the first place is just because it's less comfortable to roll that way. So I divide my hair into two sections. I roll each section and then I connect the two hair bands with U-shaped pins. In this updo element, it's also very important to reach symmetry and make sure the two sides look the same. Once the two hair bands are connected and secured into your hair, make sure to hide the connection between them with some hair and then use some U-shaped pins to tuck it in. I'm basically finished. I'm just adding more hairspray and smoothing everything, making sure there are no flyaways. 
Also, you can add a hairnet. You really don't have to, but it does add some security and it prevents flyaways. I just wrapped the hole back with it and then tucked the extra net underneath the back rolls. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, whatever you can do to support my channel. I will really appreciate it. Thank you so much and see you on my next video.